So we're going to look at the derivative of a very nice function, the exponential function, which is f of x equals e to the x. Now, remember e is a constant. It's approximately equal to 2.718 dot dot dot. Now this rule is probably the simplest rule of all the rules, because the derivative of e to the x is just itself e to the x. So let's look at the graph. What does this mean? Well, if we look right here at x equals 0, we see the value of e to the x is 1. And so the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0, this must be slope 1. And if we looked over here at 1, this would be e to the 1. The slope of the tangent line of e to the x there is e to the 1, which is 2.718 dot dot dot. And if you went at 2, the slope right here of this tangent line, getting much steeper now, the slope is e squared, which we see is approximately 7. A little, little bit bigger than 7, 7.3 7 maybe. And over to the negative side, we see right here, the slope of the tangent line at x equals minus 1. This is e to the minus 1, which is a little bit less than 0.5. So this is a very easy rule. Now let's look at a slightly different function, f of x equals 2 to the x. Now we'd like to take this derivative, and we might initially think maybe f prime of x is the same rule, 2 to the x. This is absolutely not true. This is not the rule. The rule above the e to the x rule only applies when we have something of the form e to the x. So if we want to differentiate this using the rule, we're going to have to rewrite it in the form of e to the x. Well, fortunately, exponents and e to the x get along very nicely. So let's do a little bit of review. Let's rewrite 2 using e. Well, we know that 2 is e to the natural log of 2 because e and natural log are inverse functions. And this is also the same thing as the natural log of e to the 2. OK, so 2 to the x, that is e to the natural log of 2 all raised to the x power. Now we can use the rules of exponents to rewrite that as e to the x natural log of 2. Now we have something of the form e to some function. We're going to have to use the chain rule, but it's e to some power. And so we can use our rule for the derivative of e to the x. So this gives x f prime of x equals, well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we have e to the whatever was inside, e natural log of 2. And then times the derivative of the inside, which is just natural log of 2. And then we can simplify that again. This becomes 2 to the x times the natural log of 2. 